Responded this way. Dasharat putra janma suni karana. Dasharat putra. King Dasharat got his wish, my dear brothers and sisters. And you know, if you pray for something that is worthwhile, you will get it. Don't be like me, okay? I pray for Ferrari, house, and car. Don't be like me. That is a no no. I'm teaching you what not to do. But when we pray, my dear brothers and sisters, what are we doing? We're actually existing in a higher plane of consciousness. Prayer is supposed to take you from this physical body into that depth of spiritual peace, the ocean of joy within that is the Lord. And you know that when you ask for something, when you exist at that peace level, it comes true. But if we ask based on this physical body, my dear brothers and sisters, based on selfish whims and fancies, there's a great chance that it will not manifest. According to Albert Einstein, and here's where we bring science into the picture, science and spirituality are very closely knitted. There's something called the light particle test. And it was noted that when someone observes an object in light, <coughs> That object remains the way it is based on one's thought. And as soon as they took their mind and attention away from it, scientifically proven, the object changed its form. What does this mean? That whatever the mindset of the individual, if we are happy, as we were listening to Guruji in the car, you will see a happy world. If we are sad and confused, you will see a sad and confused world. If you see a world that is full of chaos, it is because the mind is having its way with us. But have you ever met someone who is happy for no reason? No matter what is going on in their lives, they are blissed out, as Gurudev Swami Chinmayan Anjali says. If you meet such a person in your life, that no matter what the situation is, they remain happy and steadfast. Such a person is called the Stita Pratnya. Stita means Dira. It means firm. Pratnya means intellect. One's intellect who is not firm in the body identification, but one's intellect who is firm in their higher self. And when anyone does a prayer at that level, guess what? Manifestation takes place in their life. If you don't believe me, try it. Tonight, before you go to bed, meditate and say, Oh Lord, please allow me to know that I'm more than this body. But I'm existing. I'm praying. Praying means connecting with that deepest part of you. The intelligent factor, that bliss within. And whenever you pray from that standpoint, the world will manifest. King Dasharat prayed, my dear brothers and sisters. He prayed for sons. He prayed for an heir to his throne. Because he was getting old and he had no sons. So Putra Janma, my dear brothers and sisters, Dasaratta Sunikana, the word Kana means ears. He heard of the birth of his sons, but tell me, how did he hear? Did one of his messengers tell him? How? He heard the cries. Suni Sisuru Dhana Parama Priyabhani. He heard the cries of the babies, my dear brothers and sisters, and his mind became Manahu Brahma Nanda Samana. He became so happy because he finally 
has, my dear brothers and sisters, has the beautiful children that he always wanted, but for a higher purpose. He became so elated. Why? Because he was experiencing what is called Brahmananda. He was experiencing an ocean of joy, an ocean of tranquility that was one without a second in his life. Parama Prema Mana Pulaka Sharira. And he's, as he's experiencing these horripilations, my dear brothers and sisters, the hair on his skin stood on edge. Chahat Uthana Karati Mati Dheera. And he had to compose himself as he was so happy because of the birth of Ram, Lakshman, Bharat, Shatrugna. He had to compose himself. He had to mati dhira means to compose his mind. Jahada He tried to get up, but he could not. And the reason why he could not get up, my dear brothers and sisters, was not because he was weak. It was because he understood that when he became a father, certain responsibilities came with that. Nowadays, we have people mass producing in the world. It's okay. But how many of them call themselves fathers? Right? Our wonderful uncle here, Subhashti, is a true father. Subhashti comes to this country for his children's sake, takes them to organizations where they can grow, takes them to the Chinmaya mission, grows their intellect so that they can become positive contributors to this world. This is true parentage, where a father is not just a father by name, because any male can be a father, isn't that true? Sorry, any male can bring a child, but it takes a real man to be a father. So this was Dashrat's plight. He's thinking, even though he has everything under the sun, he's thinking to myself, will I be the best father for these children? Then, my dear brothers and sisters, something very beautiful takes place. The Guru comes into their life once again, and the Guru brings his wonderful joy into that environment. The Guru again, Bandha Guru Padakanj, the one who has took Dasharat to realms of peace and quietude in his mind. The Guru comes, my dear brothers and sisters, and he says these words, Tosi Dashti. Oh, oh, oh. 
as the Guru comes into the home, and I want you to set your imaginations ablaze, my dear brothers and sisters. Kari Puja Bhupati Asabhasha. The king spoke to him very sweetly. You know, in New York, when the kids, when they see Guru, what do they say? Hey, Guru, what's up? Now, this is okay. Some people say, Swami, hi. But, my dear brothers and sisters, there is a way to approach our gurus. The wonderful, wonderful king who has everything. Imagine, Dashrat Maharaj is a king. Like King Charles III. He's a king. He has everything under his fingertips, my dear brothers and sisters, at hand's reach. But how did he speak to the guru? You know, sometimes we see the guru dressed very simply. Isn't that true? And then we think nothing of him. Not you. People in New York. But Dashrat Maharaj is teaching us how to ask of anything if we have to ask. Kari Puja Bhubati Asabhasha. The wonderful Dashrat spoke very softly, very sweetly to his Guru. Pranam Guruji. Aap kaise hai? Sab theek hai? Swas theek hai aapka? Haan. And then what happened thereafter? Kari Puja Bhubati Asabhasha. He did Puja to the lotus-like feet of the Guru right away. King Dashrat got on his feet and did his pranams, his sashtanga pranams to the feet of the Guru, washing the Guru's feet. Now, does it mean that we should wash every Guru's feet? There are some Gurus who are genuine and some Gurus who are nakli. We have to have the buddhi, my dear brothers and sisters, to know real from unreal in that situation. Whereas our Swami Guru Dev, Swami Chainmayanandaji always says, just because there is a long beard and orange clothes, doesn't mean that they are authentic. So the ability to identify an authentic Guru, how? Because our lives are transformed, my dear brothers and sisters. Think about the last time you were in company of a Guru. Think about the last time you were in the company of someone great. How did you feel? Were you the same? Were you the same individual after the meeting of the Guru? This is the litmus test for our authentic Guru in your life. When transformations take place within and leads to transformations on the outside, a true Guru has come into your midst. After paying homage, the wonderful king did puja to the Guru. And he spoke to the Guru in sweet words. He said, please give my children names. And the Guru thought for a minute. The Guru Vashishta thought to himself. And he said to Dashrat Maharaj, he said, In hake nama aneka aru anupa. How can I give names to such a being who has many names and many forms? swamati anurupa. But okay, I shall try my best to give them names. What were the names given, my dear brothers and sisters? Tulsi Dashti writes in this beautiful show by. Jai Jai Ram, 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 Jai Jai Ram,
Imagine such a Raja is just blaze. Guru Vashishta has the child in his hand. The first child. Then he says, Jo Ananda Sindhu Sukharasi Jo means who? Ananda means bliss. Sindhu means ocean. Sukharasi, a storehouse of happiness. These are the descriptions given, my dear friends, by the Guru to Dasharat as he's holding this child in his hand.